And we're back. So, oh. as you grab a brief moment of, of respite as the doors swing closed, just as the next wave of zombies around rounds the corner, um, what are you guys doing? So, uh, how the hell are we getting out now? I mean, there is always upstairs. Like, or the hole um, that was burst on the wall. The, oh, I guess actually I didn't see that, but... The little the little fellas were attracted to noise earlier. Perhaps we can uh, create, like, some kind of loud sound and then, like, escape from the other side of the building. Like, upstairs for one of the holes in the roof. I mean, I suppose I could do a, uh, you know, jumping float down tactic. Then how do we make the noise? Hmm. I mean, if we have an answer for that, I'm all for it, but... Yeah, I'm trying to, like, think if we have any spells. Hey, look at me, I got nothing. Well... Well, nothing, nothing that can make a noise while I'm not here. Hmm. Let me check something, I think. I have an you alchemical know. fire arrow. <laughs> oh no, don't use that. <laughs> it would make some noise. I oh, know, I didn't end up buying bells. I was considering it, and um, But I didn't. Could you not quickly, like, throw something together? Uh, I could, I could use something, but like, it would take me, like, at least an hour. Right, we don't have that time. Okay, yeah, I we mean, definitely don't maybe have it's that just, time. Maybe it's just best that we just go. Okay, we have... Yeah, that's just... That's just the, other, the other option... Can't we just, is... like, throw something? We, we have an iron pot and a hammer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> just chuck the iron pot! Oh, but, like, I... I don't... No? <laughs> no, go, go. But I don't think... Like, that would... We can only use it whilst we're there, unfortunately, yeah, so... Yeah, exactly. Well, if we throw the iron pot, though... I mean, well, that's let's... gonna make noise when it hits. Well, Let's let's hope they're all heading towards the throne room. Let's just go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, plan like more. the window, the window is broken, so we might encounter something along the way. Well, it depends which window. The the one to near the staircase. Okay. How'd you know it was those windows? Because he saw it. Yes. Oh. In that case, I'm gonna let you go first. So that said. Might as well take a peek. If there's nothing out there, uh, we might be able to escape through it. Okay. So you you make your way around the corner, peer through the the now broken open window. Um, it's immediately obvious why you haven't been swarmed through this window, but because as you look down, um, actually the uh, the edge of the building drops away about. Um, maybe 10 feet or so to the floor. Um, there are a couple of uh, of the infested zombies sort of roaming around underneath the, the window. Um, but obviously none of them have the ability to climb up the, the 10 feet required. Uh, the spider plant, the, uh, or the um, uh, corpse flowers have the ability to climb walls, as you've seen. But... Um. My only thought is, it's going to be very hard for us to synchronize jumping. What? No, we've done it before. Well, no, as in, like, I don't think we can all sit on the window. Well, like, okay. Yeah, how, big, how big is the window? Because I don't think we can all jump out of the window at the same time. Uh, the, hole, the hole in the window is maybe seven feet across. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but these guys weren't very fast, right? Uh, no, they move... They... In in game oh, terms, okay. they move yeah. about twenty feet uh, twenty oh, feet around when no, not sprinting. I was, I was uh, it was yeah. it was meant to the party, but that's yeah. also fine. Yeah, no, uh, yeah no, those, those things are like just, we can if we just them. yeah, if we just make Almost a break certainly. for it, like through this window, we get like a little bit of a little bit of room to work with, and then we just, just yeah, run for it. I mean, I do worry that us running. Gesturing to me and Grim would make a bit of noise for them to follow. The the but idea is that we, the idea is that they can't keep up, and we'll have to probably jog or 
keep pace for quite some time. Uh, but we have nothing left to do on this island, so we'll just start heading for the beach in as direct of an approach as we can. I mean, we still have to wait, right? How many days off until they come back? Um, the boat comes back. Well, we can we can we can wait on our own boat. Oh right, we do have the other boat. It's a, it's yeah, a decent. You, time. Yeah. you you still got like half a day or so before your ride will be coming back. Yeah, right. like and it's have... it's. Uh, I will no I will note at this point. Um, the sun is beginning to set at this stage. Oh, I thought, I thought we still had like more. We had like one and a half days, right? Uh, you had one and a half days when you started walking, like, down south. Yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, I thought we had a one and a half when we entered here. Ah, uh, well. Because that was why we... Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway. Wait, well, let's just... Get out of here. Well, the windows are our best bet. Yeah. Okay. It's just, um... Um, getting getting through the window is gonna make noise. So, no, the window's already broken, isn't it? Yeah, but like we, like it's not properly broken. I imagine we, we're gonna not want to cut ourselves. Yeah, you wrap your hand in a piece of cloth. Yeah, but like it's still gonna make noise. The thing is, we want to like make sure we get through as fast as possible. Like, uh, I'll I'll go through and then try to grab the attention of the. The, the few guys outside, and then you run through, and I'll follow. Yeah, I will. I will point out at this point, like the the conversation that you're having right now is drawing the attention of the zombies that are milling around, and they're now like pressed up against the wall. Well, this is not like a loud conversation because we know they they're attract. Well, we've already established that they're uh, attracted to sound. Uh, no, but that it is uh, e even at a low volume, it's enough for them to have noticed. Mm. Yeah, well, those ones will have noticed because they're right outside the window. But it's not like we yeah, but the they, they'll make a racket. But let, let's go now. We don't have time. Yeah, the longer we wait, the worse it's going to get. Wait. A ten foot drop shouldn't hurt us too much, should it? No. Yeah. Okay. I don't think so. Like I've, I've, like, we've, like, we've done it plenty of times. You know, I think it's more of the climbing is an issue than dropping out of the window. I suppose. Although, okay. make sure not to lock your knees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tuck and roll, kids. That's what the athletics check for landing is. <laughs> Oof. I yeah. don't even want to think about it. I don't want to make an athletics check. No. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> Grim, you push the like push the boards up against the window so that the uh, the glass doesn't cut you, and you are jumping out the other side of the window. Uh, yes. Okay. Make me an athletics check. Are you sure it can't be acrobatics to land? Ah, uh, I will allow acrobatics. Okay. Cool. Wait. That makes uh, that makes a lot of sense. There we go. Okay, nice. Because I'd rather have a plus three than a flat roll. So, Grim, you leap out of the window, uh, land shoulder roll, uh, pull yourself to your feet, and uh, the immediately the moment you do that, the two or three infested turn their attention towards you. Uh, what are the, what are all of you doing? Um, uh, I'm also going. Okay. Uh, Athletics check or athletics or acrobatics to stick the landing. I'm not gonna do acrobatics, I'll tell you that much. Yep. Oh god, that was fucking terrible. Okay, you you stumble a little on the landing, but you stick it. Alright. Okay, I guess I'm jumping out as well then. Okay, so everybody's jumping in this six second window. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Roll it. There. Okay, so, uh, oh, and technically one for Lyra as well. It's a good thing I had that plus three. Yep. Nice, Lyra. <clears throat> uh, okay, so everybody except Elizabeth sticks the landing. Elizabeth, as yeah, you man. land, you twist your ankle for a moment, and, uh, yeah, you, are, you stumble for a second, uh, which means 
the infested are immediately going to target you with their attacks. Oh, yeah, but okay, like okay. I, I specifically said I was going to draw their aggro as I got out first. Remember? Okay. But like, but uh, like it's just because I because I mentioned it in the in the plan. But uh, sure. So you're you. Okay. So blah, 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 rewind for a second. Uh, Grim jumps out. They turn. They're running towards you, Grim. Are you running immediately? Uh, I'm trying to pull them like uh, towards the door, uh, like so. Because I assume we're, I'll just point them out. We're gonna run this way past the building, and I'm gonna dr- yeah, drag to, them this back way. towards the shore. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you go ahead and do that. Uh, so then you all jump, Elizabeth. You fall, uh, fall prone for a moment, and then pull yourself back up. Um, so I guess. The most effective way of doing this is going to be... So, Grim, you're running this distraction to keep their attention. Are the rest of you sneaking or running? I... I think for the moment running to get distance yeah. between us and the house. No, Elizabeth's just we bucking it. Okay, so Elizabeth's just bucking it away from the magic. Because also we can't go that way because that's that way's just mountain. Yeah, you can't run towards the mountains. You can't go the other way. So we should probably start going just away from the yeah. from the house. Well, and then um, turn to the shore once we've got distance. To avoid being too meticulous about this, because I don't think it's that interesting to the uh the story um i'm gonna need uh that's completely the wrong zone yeah that's not uh god if i go back here oh uh so you guys are up here uh are you skirting the outskirts of the town or are you going through town no i I think we should go around town (laughs) yeah that Probably. Yeah. Which, okay. Yeah. So in that case, uh, let us make this. Let's make this a skill challenge. Oh no. So I need you all to tell me how it is that you are. Because uh, basically, uh, Grim will lead these these guys away initially. Um, and then the rest of you will follow up. Um, this is very quickly going to attract more and more attention from the crowd of zombies that are rapidly like surrounding the house. Um, I want you to tell me how you're evading these guys, and I'm going to need three successes before you get three failures. Okay, so just like when we did the rock climbing that one time. Yes. Uh, well, like, uh, there's always the obvious one that we can, that, that was the core of our plan. And that's running away. Uh, the fast run. Okay. So. Yeah, because we just g- generally outspeed them. Somebody lead me on, a, on an athletics check. Uh. I mean. Oh. Yeah. I think Kalaris probably got the best. Might as well. I have a plus seven, but I have a different thing that I was going to do. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 plus 10 to I, I feel like this makes the most sense for either Kalaris or Grim to make because they are also making the most noise. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't suppose we can help each other in that in doing this if we're both kind of fucking making this noise and running. Well, I'm not sure how we would help each other each other in making noise. Well, the thing is, is that if we're well, like, and running away. while we're all just kind of running, I could, I could twist some shit to make an argument, but I also don't want to push it. Well, I, I assume ridiculous. it would be better for you because, like, I am not, I'm, I'm one of the slower members of the part, party anyway, so I should not be trying too many shenanigans. Okay, I, I will let you help on the condition yeah. that if you fail by five or more, it will be a uh, a double failure. Wow. Uh, oh. 
right. I feel like that's already like a <laughs> jinx that will cause us to fail. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll, I'll just you know just. Uh, We'll just make the uh, flat roll. You just roll. Just roll. Okay. Um, athletics, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Nice. Hopefully. So as the infested sort of uh, Grim is taking much longer to close the distance uh, to make distance between the infested and himself. So Kalaris, you take off at an angle, and they all start to follow you instead. Uh, that is one success. Okay. Uh, so, what was Arya's plan? Arya was just going to duck and dodge, weave through the crowd. Okay. She's next to well. So you're going to use your... <clears throat> dexterity. Use your dexterity to weave through the crowd and avoid being caught up and snagged. Sure. Yeah. Straight dexterity. Okay. That's nice. two successes. Who else wants to take an action? Um, let's see. Oh, I, changes, which require physical activity. Oh, I have a I had a great idea, but um I could maybe you could uh maybe you could help me in this a little bit. Um perhaps if we can we can spot like um I don't know we were going around the village, so never mind. I was like if we could find something was some kind of uh some kind of building that was or objects that was like about to break, so we could like give it the like, you know just the final tap, like uh, if we spotted something. Because I, I imagine stuff like logs along the way will slow down the horde significantly. They're not the most uh, agile of people, or well, zombies. I mean, yeah, literally, again, my perception is the only way I could think of, that, the only thing I could think of that would help in any way in me running away from things. Oh, well, actually, yeah, just finding uh, a path, uh, like, like spot oh, yeah, spotting like... tricky pathways. Uh, so, because you're moving outside of the city, I would say that's more of a survival check? Well, no, that, I mean, that's not what I was going to go with. But... That was just a suggestion, a general suggestion. No, the main uh, thing I was thinking of was... Like, I guess using perception to... Sort of, sort of keep an eye on how the horde is moving and to identify the best possible route to avoid them. Okay. Uh, I will say if you want to make that, uh, how that will assist you is going to be harder than the other attempts. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, there's nothing else I could do, so Grim, if you've got anything, it's probably better than... <laughs> um... Well, you, you don't know how hard it will be, but I'm telling you it'll be harder than the previous ones. Yeah. So this is my point. Again, we're involved in physical activity, and... I'm not good at that. You do have magic. That might be useful. Not enough. Uh, well, considering we're running through the woods and the volcano is going to happen anyway, probably. Um, what? I could pull out, like, what I'm thinking is I could pull out a torch and uh, see if anything catches fire along the way. Uh well, like, seems like a good idea. However, I'm not quite sure how to put this into a skill check. Burning down a forest. Mm, probably not the best. Hmm. Yeah, we do also have to get through it. And that's yeah, yeah well, like, I don't, like, um, I'm not sure on the whole burning down the forest plan. But, like, it's, we're, I'm not, like, burning that, like, like we're, 
assuming we're gonna probably stay ahead of the fire, and I'm assuming the fire doesn't like escalate within two seconds. Yeah. So the the forest is not nearly flammable enough. Like it is basically approaching the middle of winter. It's not flammable enough to for this whole thing to go up quickly. Um. Oh, but you know what is flammable? Oil. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, so yeah, if if you want to try and leave trails of flammable oil behind you to slow them down, I will allow it. Um, I, I, that's yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make you roll for that. Because of, like it seems like a very good way to get rid of them. I'm just not sure how how to determine that. Uh. If you have a pitch, I'm willing to hear it, but I'm otherwise going to think about it for a minute. No, oh, no, that's why I, that's why I, like, kind of just said it out loud because I was like, yeah. it's, it sounds good, but it's like, how does it work? Like, is it whole... potentially something that's intelligence related? Because to come up with a plan like that on the fly and to think, all right, spread this oil, let it, light it on fire. It's a, it's a very loose thing, it's, but it's the close like. If you want to thing. roll flat intelligence, I will allow it. Uh, I guess plus the uh, yeah, and the the consumption of a resource will go in your favor. Oh yeah, like we've got uh, we've got several. Oh, we've got seven flasks of oil. Oh yeah, because we, well, it's yeah. because we bought to stock up our uh, lanterns, but we, we yeah. never use them anymore. Yeah, because we've got magical light and two people with dark vision. Uh, so I guess I'll you know, I'll go for it. Uh, so um. I will... I'm going to be generous here, and I will say uh, for every two flasks of oil that you are willing to consume, you can reduce the DC by one. Fuck it up, Grim. Yeah. That's it. Well, I guess... I guess... Yeah, like, depending... Like, if... Uh, I would say I would use up to... F or, like it kind of depends on how many I see behind me. I think. Um, I will. I will tell you here and now that sprinting it towards the beach, uh, there's. Oh. Hang on. Let me do. Let me do some quick oh. maths. I'll, I'll. I'll just say. We'll just say I end up using four. Okay, you're gonna use that, four. That, that, uh, that roll it. I'm, I will work out how many there are behind you, just for the purposes of. Oops. Uh, Maybe, okay. Uh, yeah, no, Wait. with your four flasks, that is good enough. Oof. Nice. That is three successes. So there are... Okay, cool. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, God damn it. <laughs> so there are within the region of 50 to 60 uh, infested chasing you. Uh... As you are not going for the stealthy approach as well, uh, there are you spot amongst the horde, um, slightly outstripping the horde, but staying close enough that they can be backed up if a fight were to emerge. Are two more of the uh, the myconids, the the evolved myconids, um, and as you begin to sprint. Uh, those of you keeping an eye behind, out behind you, uh, so probably Elizabeth, um, mm -hmm. the uh, so a number of rock have peeled away from wheeling around the top of the mountain and are heading in your direction. Uh. Uh, so, uh, as it stands, you will reach the beach by the time the rock arrive. Uh, and you will outpace the rest of the horde significantly. You have uh, maybe three three minutes of running before they make it to you. Um, also, everybody, give me a Constitution saving throw. Ugh. Not great. Oh, okay. God. That's a that's strength save. Oh, that's also a strength check, not a save. Oh fuck. Uh, she doesn't have saves. Or... <laughs> yeah. 
She's a wolf. Uh, she should have saves. I, I thought she did have saves. I, I think that's the mm, old nope. one. That wasn't the other one. That, that, there she oh, has yes. yes. And everything. Yeah, she no longer has saves. Yes, I remember correctly. Uh, so. Uh, I suppose, yeah, technically this would make sense. So, uh, Kalaris, Grim and Lyra take a level of exhaustion as you outrun this horde. Uh, Lyra's exha uh, exhaustion you'll just have to track, track separately because um, there is no box for hers. Actually, well, box. Uh, you should do. Uh, there is uh, a there is a box you can include either manually or as part of your stat sheet. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, you you have about three minutes before the rock catch up to you. What are you doing? Um. Casting mage armor on myself. Okay, cast mage armor on yourself. Uh, wait, so. Just to be clear, we're like now on the outskirts of. Uh, we're like in the forest now, or? No, you are basically at the beach. Oh, we're basically at the beach. Because uh, I, I assume you are beelining for the shore. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, so I you are, you are yeah. basically where the party marker is now. Um, and sorry, how far behind the, is the horde from us? Uh, a decent distance, uh, because okay. basically, uh, so yeah, the, the the Vrock will catch up to you in three minutes. The horde will catch up to you in ten minutes. Ah, uh, I see, I see. How oh, long was it like for us at the beach? Boat. Oh, um, well, we might as well. We, yeah, we might we're as at well... the beach, fucking get in the boat. Yes. Well, here's the thing: it may be better for us to fight the Vrock on solid ground and then get the boat up and ready so that as soon as we deal with them or scare them off we can get on that well boat. like the boat is massive we'll be uh, like we'll, we'll have yeah. up space yeah we can we can make the bigger boat all right then but we make is. it easier to uh fight on although i guess if we if the horde shows up we can just run a like run a little extra it will be a rough jog but oh well I guess the problem is as well, we still have to navigate and not hit rocks and get stuck. Yeah. Well, I guess we can... Well, we have time now, so we we'll, oh, might as well check the map. Um... Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess I'd like to use the map to try and plot the safest route away from the island. Okay. Uh, make me... I will let this be investigation. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, you, you, uh, through a, like a, as you're running, sort of like pulling out the map and like going through it, um, you think you find uh, the most efficient way to get you the hell off this island. Okay, cool. So I guess once we're at the beach, can I just boat? Okay, so you... Just uh, as you're reaching the beach, the Vrock is swooping down on your back. You summon this boat. Uh, uh, what, are you, what are you summoning? Uh, I guess I want the bigger ones so that we can more easily fight on it, because if we're on the smaller one, we won't be able to move. And we'll be Wait, really packed the work in. Weren't the oh. rock like eight minutes away? Three minutes away. Oh, oh three minutes. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess if they're approaching as we're still on land, then we might as well fight them here, because we don't want to fight them whilst we're in the water, like, on our way on the boat. Okay, so we're just going to fight them on the beach. Yes, okay. I, I thought there was, uh, I thought there was okay. less time. Between so, fair time. important point of clarification. Uh, what kind of boat are you summoning? Just don't um, forget, part of the reason that we couldn't be brought all the way over here is because it gets shallow, right? Yeah. 
Well, I mean, this is the thing. If, if, if we're all agreed that we're just going to fight the Vorok on the beach because we can't get there in time, then if they're swooping down on us while we're at the beach, I'm not summoning the boat. Uh, the main reason why we couldn't go over here is because people don't dare come close. Because of these things that are heading right for us. Yeah, like, if the Vorok are, sw are swooping down on us, like, as we're on the beach, I'm not, I'm not summoning the boat. Well, 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 what, like, if the, yeah, because they're closer than I thought, we might, we'll fight them first real quick. It should take more than a few minutes. Yeah. No, and then no we should still have a few minutes left before the horde arrives. Yeah. While we were running, could I, um, have cast a spell and used it to heal several people? Uh, I will allow it. Okay. Um, it's just aura of vitality again, so I'm gonna just dish that out while we were doing or even if it was like when we got here in like the last minute before the rock arrived because, yeah or the rock yeah, yeah I, I will allow it okay i appreciate it thank you uh, ten? Ten, okay how hp because i can't see people um i'm gonna give a good chunk to myself because i am in a bad way uh, i will give That's you fine. the battle map thank you oh, such luck yeah it looks like you and elizabeth are the ones who need it the most Okay. Um, bearing in mind yeah. this. Bearing in mind, I do have this token doesn't have. I should actually have technically this. Whoops. What is this? That is right. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. Uh. I guess feel free to position yourselves anywhere within the red square. So blue line, blue line to dark blue line is like the water. Uh. So yeah, blue line is where uh if you go beyond blue line, you're going to be wading ankle deep in water. Once you get to blue line, you're out beyond your chest for most people. Grim, obviously, it's a little different. It's just, yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. I'm not planning on fighting the water. But yeah, so yeah, bear in mind I do have my uh ward. My yes. ward. Uh, take that fourteen, Elizabeth. Okay. Um. Oh, real fatality. Oh. Uh, Grim, Good. take that 15. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, and once you guys are done, roll yourselves into the initial. Sorry, order. Arya, just take the. It's all good. <laughs> the six. Um, I'm pretty much better off than all of you, so. Yeah, I'm going to take the last one because I think Grim and I will probably be up closest, yeah. I'd imagine. Um, yeah, and you've, still got, you've oh. still got Lyra. How did I fuck that up? You've still got Lyra, and Lyra's health pool. Lyra's health pool is not my health pool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, feel free to position yourselves within the red square. Yeah, but uh, can take hits. So you. No, like, well, I mean, I, I guess if she like literally jumps in front of me. Like, like we, we can't go too far forward because they'll pro they can just land in our back line. Oh yeah, I guess that's a good. Yeah. So I guess here, give or take. Uh, try try stay around Elizabeth. But on uh, the one hand, they have their weird shriek uh, as well, so we don't Elizabeth. want to be too close. God fucking damn it! Well, maybe Elizabeth move back because. But well, like, if you move a little more sense, like uh, if you move a little, if a little bit more central as well, though, good. Then we can, oh, kind of like spread out a little bit around her. I'm not that squishy. No, but you are currently the most in danger. What if I'm more like there? Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll move a little forward. Wait, did we not just say we didn't want to group up? Oh yeah, but, like I assume like you guys are spreading like out a little bit more. Right. I will here, I guess. That seems really know. far. Eh, it's probably fine. Um Sorry, I need to roll into initiative is what I need to do. Oh, yeah, that is I completely forgot that that was a thing that exists. Yep. Lol. Go. Oh. Wow. I, even with advantage, my initiative is gold. Is it even rolling? Oh. 
Oh yeah, it is. Yep. Okie dokie. That's because you rolled a five and a three. I know. The worst. Uh, and with that, yeah, you guys uh, hear a high-pitched shrieking turn around and three of these creatures are diving towards you. Lovely. Fantastic. Uh, and they are going to get to go first. One will... Uh, what's their movement speed again? Fly 60. Uh, one will land at Clarice's feet. Uh, one will land at Grim's feet. And the other will move its full extent and remain... Oh, hang on. Uh, remain 20 feet in the air. Uh, the rock attacking Grim and Claris will take one beak and one talon swing each. Uh. This is fine. Uh, against Grim, 9, 18. Against Kolaris, 15, 17. Uh, neither hit. Oh, that's a double miss. Okay. Uh, the Vrock swooping around the outside will take the dodge action. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to... I guess we don't know if these things are vulnerable to fire, do we? Uh, when you fought them previously, you did not get that indication. Okay. Um... Did you say not vulnerable, or not? Yeah. Like, if they, like, they're, like, weak like the zombies to fire... Well, also, the zombies are not weak to fire. The zombies just... the It prevents the spore explosion when you hit them with fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it also prevented them from getting their resilience as well. But yeah. uh, Okay, well, Lyra's going to go up here and attack this one. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cast flame arrows, because fuck it. Okay. You... Damage is damage. Last spell slot. Light them up. <laughs> uh, Rock makes a strength saving throw. Uh, okay. So the Rock takes 15 piercing damage and is brought to its knees by a well aimed blow from Lyra. Yes, Lyra! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, That's my girl! Words. I That's just imagine girl. like gliding in, the lyra just jumps up, grabs his leg, and then just you know it just crashes Pro first into the ground. Probably a wing, actually, but yeah. Oh, oh yes, uh, Elizabeth. Cool. Um, see, my problem is that I know these things are fiendish. We kind of know they're fiends or fiend-like. You are aware that they are fiends, yes. So, oh yeah, I'm thinking they're not vulnerable to fire because they're resistant to fire. But I also don't want to get uh, Not necessarily true. Well, yeah, but no, I've got the theory they might be. So let's test that theory, because otherwise it means if I want to be doing decent damage, I need to get in their faces. Okay. I'm going to hit the one on the left that's attacking Grim, so I don't want to disadvantage because okay. it's prone. Uh, cool. Oh, that's the a lot of damage. fireball impacts. Um, it does seem to have less effect than you expect. Yeah. Well. In that case, Elizabeth will say, yep. They, 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 they resist for... Hey, at least I'd roll pretty high on the damage. Like, even even with that half, that's still not the lowest damage fireball I've done this session. Is that all you're doing? Um, it's all I can do, really, so yeah. Okay, Taurus. Okay. 
Um, I'd like to hit this one. Is it its advantage or is it just? Um, it's advantage because it's prone. Right. Um, alrighty, yeah. Let's just hit it with me sword. With oh. the sword, maybe, perhaps. I hope a 28 hits, <laughs> because if it does, we have some problems. I know. But no. Um, but, a little bit more. 21 is okay, I think. Uh, yeah, they are both hits. Okay. Um, wow, what the fuck is up with my radiant damage today? That's rough. You haven't been uh, praying to Tarfurian enough. Uh, wow. Um, also, I think that just to better place us, I'm going to move um, around this way. Okay. So that, yeah, you know. Okay, Grim. Okay. Um, well, I might as well try and, uh, and hit it. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll keep on using uh, failure. There we go. Okay. Stab. Uh, oh, nice I just there love that. Go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I don't know how I did that, but. Okay. This is fine. Uh, you possibly clicked on um, something. Uh, so, assume the 19 hits. Uh, the 19 does hit, the 13 does not. Okay, good. So that's. Well, I rolled the damage there in between Arya's. Uh, yeah, I see. So. <laughs> Just ignore those random piercing rolls. Yeah. Okay, the Vrock. Uh, identifying the wizard, one Vrock will swoop. I said the Vrock will swoop. Uh, yeah. Oh, roll 20. Uh, the one fighting Kalaris and Lyra will emit a uh, horrific screech. Lovely. Uh, everyone within 20 feet constitution saving throw, please. Oh, that's uh, right. That is yeah. everyone except Grim and Aya. Yeah. Okay, con save. Oh, Lyra, what the fuck yeah. are these rolls, my oh, girl? Oh. Okay, yeah. Lyra and Kalaris stunned. God damn it. Uh, the one fighting Grim will attack. Uh, 20 and an 11. Uh, 20 hits. Uh, 8 piercing damage. Non magical. Okay. Uh, against Elizabeth. Uh, 14 and a 24. 24 hits. Uh, 17 slashing damage as the claws rake across you. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. I'm gonna shoot the one attacking Elizabeth. Wait, okay. you lose health cap? Ward. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but that's once a day. Or, well, long run. Oh, bitch! Holy shit. Oh, well. I've rolled three That's nat fine. 20s this session on attacks. I just want to point that out. Ward is once per long rest. Yes. Well, well like the... lasts until my next long rest. Oh. Yeah. Lasts but... until my next long rest. It just means that if I cast, so basically, until my next long rest, whenever I cast an abjuration spell, rather than re like starting the ward at full health, it just regenerates it. Uh, okay. Yeah. I didn't so really see that. Yeah. It, it, spell I cast after that uh, starts it's it at thirty. Diminished long. efficiency per long rest. Yeah. Also, apparently my, I was like, uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> apparently the uh, bar number two on this token is tied to my armor class. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. Curious. Uh, you yeah. should be able to unbind that. Yeah, I don't know how. Uh, 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 go into the settings for it. So yeah. I like, can't cogwheel. change that for some reason. I'm going to restart uh, roll 20. Yeah, I don't... I... Didn't do this with the other token. Let's do it with this oh. one. <laughs> the roll 20 enhancement features is required. Yes, I know. I already have it. 
But I've opened up the settings for it. it. Doesn't seem to be anything. Check the second page. There's a second page on the edit token. Yeah. Oh, I think for us we don't have it. No, oh, like, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe only I can. Uh, do it. Yeah, I, I um, see the second page. Unless you have the enhancement suite, you well actually even with the enhancement suite you can do it, but it's really you need to go uh, like like fushin oh, no, hoops. I, I think as my, players uh... we can't edit that. that uh, like you can, but you need to go to your character sheet and then token editor, and then it's it's a mess as a player. But it yeah. can be done. It's fine. Oh my god, I didn't even know you could do that. Well, I learned something fucking new today. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah, this is how I have all this fancy shit set up for, like, uh, monsters and shit. Uh, hopefully now my game should let me edit your token. Oh yeah, for some reason it was bound to your AC. That's fine. Yep. Interesting. So, yeah, how much damage did I take? Uh, how much damage did you take? Uh, yeah. 17. Cool. Uh, so, Aya, you are shooting the one attacking Elizabeth? Yes. Okay, so your arrow strikes. Your arrow is non-magical, correct? Uh, the, well, it has the fire Oh, yes. Stuff. I don't so, know if that's magical. Uh, yes, it, by house rule, I allow that to be magical. So, Because uh, it makes fire arrows actually worth the spell slot instead of garbage. Yep. <laughs> yes. Uh, and 12 piercing for the... Uh, wait, no, Lyra is stunned, so Lyra does not get an attack. Ah, yeah, fuck. I forgot. Uh, but she does make, get to make a con save at the end of this turn. Okay. Uh, so, con save, please. Lyra, my girl! Uh, my oh, girl. wait, no. Uh, hang on. Uh, oh, no, sorry. You're just you're just stunned until the end of the rocks next turn. So. Okay. Oh, so no That's roll? Rough. No save anyway. Yeah, it's not like the uh, Steel Predators where you're stunned until you save. Um, uh, Elizabeth. Cool. Um, Your fang. My fang is going to be electrocuting this bird. Okay. The shockingly grasp the bird. Shocking. I know, right? Go for it. Assuming a 20 hits? Uh, yes, 20 does hit. Zap. Uh, oh, important learning experience. It is resistant oh. to lightning damage. Oh, okay. Oh, no. But it loses its reaction. It does. So, I uh, help. <laughs> uh. Wow. <laughs> Jumps into Arya's arm. <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive because she's holding a bow. Yeah, if this yeah. was a cartoon, that's exactly oh. what she'd do. Um. So I've just realized something. Yeah. Uh, do either of these spells have somatic components? Uh, I don't have my dagger out anymore. But so you, need a, a you need a focus. You need to hold the focus and do uh, somatic sh components. Shock and Grasp doesn't have a material component. Okay. So I don't need my focus for it. And what about Firebolt? Uh, Firebolt doesn't either. Okay, cool. You're fine then. You're still holding the book. Yeah, so I can only use... I can't use S and M. I can only use... Really? <laughs> I'm so glad we both went there, Luca. I, I also did. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> oh, I, I have no qualms with saying that. Based on, Liz on how Elizabeth's been acting, um, she probably is the M part. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. god. And that's a story for a completely different game. <laughs> Kalaris. I can't do anything. Uh, yeah, you are stunned, Grim. <laughs> Um, I will move a little bit, and then I will, I will stab this, this evil foul thing. Beast. Like, foul beast would have been foul better, beast. but I couldn't come up with those words, so. <laughs> evil God, thing will have foul to do. Demon. Okay. Cool. And, ooh, uh, the last one. A 15 just hits. Cool. So that's yeah, minus... just my guys. These guys are resistant to all the damage mm. types I have. Minus eight. That's it's not, minus nine. Not ideal. Well, except magic missile, but that would use up all my spells. That would use up my spell slots, and I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh. The rock. I'm assuming the plural of rock is rock. 
but here we yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, I assume so too. It's like goose. That sounds right. No, it's like sheep. Uh, the rock will move to here. Oh, the, because the plural of sheep is sheep. I. Uh, the rock attacking Kolaris and Lyra will. I'm gonna roll a percentage dice. Uh, it is going to target Kolaris. Okay. Uh, beak, talons, 11 and... Oh no, sorry, 17 and a 22, because that's advantage, because you're stunned. Uh, only the second one hits. Okay. Uh, you take 8 slashing damage. Okay. I have this very strange habit of... I make slashing motions in the air when I say slashing damage, but none of you can see that, so... <laughs> no, no, none of us can see it's it. It's okay, well, when we finally have an in-person session, we'll see it and it'll be great. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll just make it think that everyone has to mime out their attacks. Ooh, uh, two attacks against Grim, 26 and 24. Does both hit? The 26 yeah. deals, 12, deals 20 piercing damage as a chomping bite strikes down in a weak spot in your armor. Uh, as n And nine slashing damage as it claws into your side. Okay. Uh, both non-magical instances. Yes. Uh, and the remaining frock will... Uh, Fl uh, flick out its wings and extend a 15 foot cloud of toxic spores. Oh, joy. Uh, no. So, uh, Grim. Uh, bleh, what's your name? Elizabeth. Uh, Aya. <laughs> and. What? That's Lyra. Um, con okay. saves. Con saves. Cool. Uh, oh well, I'm out of room. Oh release. my god! Okay! Oh wow. So, three of you are poisoned. Fuck. This is fine. Is it? No. Well, it has to be, because otherwise, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, okay, so. We finally discovered the reason why he says it all the time. Uh, so, whilst you are poisoned, you have disadvantage on ability checks, and uh, you will take damage at the start of each of your turns. Great. Um, Love that for us. So, important note, uh, you learned this previously, I don't know if you remember, um, you can cure this with holy water. Yeah, I was going to mention yeah. that he has the holy water on them, but you... Uh, oh, the Vrox turn ends. Everyone who is stunned is unstunned. Fantastic. Yeah, I've got holy water. Yeah, I think. Uh, we oh, that Vrox also one. stood up. So. Will the real Vrox please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dwayne the Vrox Johnson. Dwayne the Vrox oh Johnson. Ah, oh, yeah, it's your turn. Uh, I hate everything. Uh, if we don't meet a wrestler now called Dwayne the Vrox Johnson. I'm gonna be very sad. Fuck's sake. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this guy again. And is Lyra still stunned? Uh, Lyra is no. Lyra is unstunned at the end of Rock's turn. Okay. I thought I unmarked that, but apparently I didn't. Nope. <clears throat> uh, 15 hits. Uh, yeah, Lyra's damage is magical now, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, strength saving throw. Strength. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Fails again. Wow. Ha -ha. Sucks, so suck. get fucking wrecked, bitch. It has a strength of 17, but apparently it just doesn't want to roll well. Mm, I know the sucks. feeling. Sucks uh, to suck, bitch. Elizabeth. Cool. Um, what what kind of action is it to douse someone in holy water? An action. Cool. <laughs> yeah. oh. Fantastic. Well, honestly, given my only other options for my actions are to do attacks that deal half damage, I'm going to go ahead and help the person who's actually going to be doing better damage. Okay. And I'm going to douse Arya in holy water. Oh my god. Look, I'm filling a support roll. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, 
Aya, as you feel this, like, this poison, po toxic spores, like, burning your skin, Elizabeth, with lightning-fast reactions, pulls a vial of holy water from her belt, uncorks it, and just throws it over you. I imagine Arya looks kind of grumpy. <laughs> so <laughs> she's wet. Uh, wait, hang on a minute. Are you saying Arya before that didn't look grumpy? Uh, probably more stressed than grumpy at that point. Yeah, you are okay, deep poisoned. Well, in that case, I'll take I'll take making you grumpy for once. Uh, are, you, are you doing anything else, Elizabeth? Um, I don't have any other bonus actions that would be useful in this situation. Are so we just gonna ignore Rob saying Elizabeth like Elizabeth? Elizabeth. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened there, but you better not say that in front of in front of the Queen. She would not like Elizabeth. That. Yeah, don't worry about it. Wow. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay. Kalaris. I, no I have no bonus action. Five poison mm -hmm. damage. Wait, I'm not poisoned. You are not. I was the ring. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I was the only thing. one that didn't get hit by the sports. So, sorry, that should be for Lyra then. Oh, Lyra. So, uh, Lyra takes five poison damage. Five. 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 <laughs> five. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I wanna... my accent is all over the place today. <laughs> yeah, what is your accent doing, honestly? Mike, it's I don't great. even know what that accent is. I, I believe in Grimm's ability to survive Boy. for another turn. Oh, good. Don't prove me wrong. Um, I want to hit the rock in front of me, please. Okay. Uh, advantage. Here we go. One. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, that was very bad. nice. Uh, Is it still up? That's not a great roll, huh? No. Uh, it is still up. Yes. Fuck. Okay. Well, one more. Here we go. Hit. Hit. Uh, it's still up, but God. it <laughs> really does not look healthy. Oh, we're not gonna dump a thing into it for that, unfortunately, but. Uh, Grim, you take well, one poison damage. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I can live with that. Uh, oh, hang um, on. Uh, uh, Arya, can you make me a con saving throw? As f I forgot you make one at the end of your turn. Uh, sorry, that should have been for Lyra. So whatever Lyra's modifier is. <laughs> Uh, that's nice. a pass, so she is depoisoned. Unpoisoned. Hmm. That is um that's a good that's a good to know. Well I will continue my uh rigorous process of stab. Rigorous. Okay. <laughs> well hit my rigorous process of stab. Cool. Um that's This like thing is looking like it's on its last day legs. I, uh, I'll, I'll, I might as well keep on going. Not like I can do anything else with my own actions anyway. Oh, I guess I could do. Um, do I? It's still up. Yeah, but I don't think I'm gonna kill it with my next blow. Uh, Polaris, however. What's up? Uh, Hit it very it. hard. Thing of my last one. The Finish last, it. the very last blow. Alrighty, here we go. Hit. Hit. Damage. Okay. With a final swing, you bring it down and decapitate the downed rock. Nice. 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 Round four. I'll come help you in a second, uh, I need a d6. That's fine. That is a oh, six. Uh, my, I forgot to make the con save. Do that uh, okay, yeah, you are depoisoned. Nice. Nice. Uh, but the <laughs> Vrock has recharged its spores with a roll of six on the dice, God which is what it needed. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, it is not going to use its uh, stunning spores, however, it is going to use its horrific screech. No. How dare. Uh, and so everybody except Kolaris, con saving throw, please. Damn. Um. I, I, hang on, I think I've, I think on con saves, I've just rolled like four or five twenties in a okay, row. Hey, nobody is stunned. Don't fucking jinx it. <laughs> yeah. God. Uh, the Vrock attacking Grim is going to 
disengage wow. and oh. swoop away. Oh, he's doing that thing again. He's trying to run for it. Uh, yeah, actually, seeing this ally back off after doing his screech and seeing that it doesn't work, this guy is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ah, oh, yeah. Yep, gonna shoot it again. Okay. Hit. Oops. Lyra, anything? Uh, are any of them on the ground? Uh, at the moment, yes. Technically, both of them, uh, because one of them ran away and the other one is like backing off slowly. They are both on the ground. Oh, good to know, actually. Get them, girl. Rawr! <laughs> okay. Get them. Hit. Uh, strength save. Oh my god, natural ha! one. Ah, get the fuck. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Sit down, son. Elizabeth. Um, well, I can't get close enough to melee attack that one, and I'm not going to range attack it because that gives me disadvantage, so I'm going to range attack the other one. Okay. The one that's fuck off miles away. <laughs> Firebolt. Hit. Deal some damage. Okay. Uh, so as the Vrock like turns to look over its uh, like wing as it's about to take off, uh, the fireball connects with its skull and it collapses into the sand. Get fucked. Cool. And Even with go... half damage. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go. Is it five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty? Okay. You are now, like, uh, knee-deep in the water. Cool. Claris. Uh, I'd like to move closer to this one. I measured it, and then immediately forgot where I moved, or where I measured. Yeah. Um, here, and then I want to throw... Oh, fuck, it's on the ground, isn't it? It's on the ground. Disadvantage. Um, yeah, it's Disadvantage fine, I mean. I, I can't reach it, and I would rather hit it with something, you so... Can still throw it. You can still throw it twice. Yeah, I will start twice. I uh, just need to remember to uh, disadvantage. Hit. Um, one more. Hit. There you go. No radiant for those, unfortunately. Nope. Damage is damage. Uh, Grim. Magical piercing damage mm. is still magical piercing damage. Well, might as well run the last one down. One, two, three, four. And this this failure is uh, kind of great most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Is this? I, I, I assume. Ah, uh, see here. There we go. Yeah, that one hits. <laughs> oh, that is almost minimum wow. damage. That's rough, buddy. Yep, that is one off minimum damage. And again, I am doing excellent. <laughs> It's still hitting, though. Yeah. I am hitting. That is the important part. Although this guy has taken minimal damage. Okay. This guy is going to stand up and... Mm. Yeah, it knows it can't outrun you, so it's going to use its... Uh, everyone make a constitution saving throw, so uh, Claris, Grim, Lyra, constitution saving throw, please. On the right side, all you guys get plus three. Yeah. Ooh, or 30. Ooh, wow, that's bad. Uh, so Claris is poisoned. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Uh, and it is going to make a run for it, so one step. You can take and... tax if you want to. <laughs> Sad face. Come on. Get on the ground! <laughs> uh, no need. Uh, does that kill it? 
Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, it is not quite dead yet. I mismathed. Get on the uh, ground! <laughs> strength saving throw. It succeeds. Ah oh, no! It's okay. It spent half its movement getting up. It did. But so run after it again. Uh, but it's going to fly. So oh. uh, it has wings. So that's five. It will go. Uh, hang on. Nope. Let's get the right feature. Ah, my red enhancement, uh, sorry, uh, Roll20 enhancement suite has not done properly, so it's, it will move to there, no, to there, uh, and it is 15 feet in the air, so. Uh, ah, yeah. Pew! Shoot it down. Get him. Make the shot. Okay. Shot, shot made. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I want to shoot it through the neck. Okay. So as the arrow like soars up, it curves around and pierces through the rock's neck as it just collapses to the ground. Nice. Uh, oh, yes. Elizabeth, I assume you are summoning the boat. Yes, I want to summon the small okay. boat. Boom. The small boat appears. And she's just going to turn to else and say, right, time to go. Uh, so yeah, you are basically a minute has passed since you started. So, I'll give it a minute. Uh, well, it will be by the time you all get in the boat. Um, but yeah, you guys managed to put out to sea without the horde catching up with you. <gasps> Yay! Woohoo! And now it's time to navigate. Uh... I'm gonna dunk some holy water on myself, by the way, because I'm yeah, poisoned. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, te yeah. So technically, yeah. you should take uh, one d10, uh, one one poison damage. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Wow. Lol. Oh, I am so poisoned. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Uh, but yeah, you Ow. dunk yourself in holy water, and yeah, the boat sails out. Uh, I guess uh, for the crew of the boat, make me a stealth check. Uh, wait, so everyone? I everyone, guess? yeah. Okay. Well, no, sorry. Um, one person for the boat. Okay. Okay, so can they have advantage of being helped? No. Yeah. Aria. Oh well, yeah, make us a stealth eye. It's really okay. not a great stealth. I mean, That'll do. I have a plus 10. Hello, yeah. I have plus 11 and regularly roll 15. <sighs> That's pretty good. So, as the horde gathers on the beach, uh, watching, like, watching you guys set sail, uh, none of the Vrock peel away from the mountain. Nice. And yeah, you guys sit in the middle of the ocean, navigating past the pointed rocks on uh, basically sitting on the the edges of uh, the Black Mount Isles, waiting for your pickup. So it's just gonna be like, so you know how I said we should go back there. I take that back. Not that we'd be able to anyway, because you know. Oh, well, I am actually more concerned about something that we didn't address. Um, it's they—they they were building well, an like an escape ship. Mm -hmm. Uh. I don't know how well they will, like, progress will go without the guidance of their uh, their leader. Yeah. But um, I I foresee major problems if they ever land anywhere. Yeah. 
I mean, we've ma we've massively thinned their work their workforce. Their leader is no more, and that volcano is going to go off pretty damn soon. Well, the let's hope. Maybe, yeah. So hopefully, they don't leave this island. That's if they can navigate past all the awkward reefs as well. Uh, I don't they, think that. They don't have a map. You know, I wouldn't count on that being the biggest issue. But we mean we've seem to have made it for now. Uh, we should head to our, uh, well, what used to be our drop-off point. Yeah. Um. I suppose the only question now is which way is she uh, going to be going when she passes. Like, the opposite direction that we were coming from. Yeah, she would be heading yeah. back towards Castle. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Um, can we do something to make ourselves more recognizable? I mean, did we not use... Uh, did we not send them a message? Well, I was more thinking... Uh, like I, I never sent the message because... Well, once we got out of the vault, I... Kinda had other distractions. I can send it now. Now that we're not in imminent danger, that would be a good idea, probably. Let's, let's yeah. hope it's not quite too late yet. Yeah, I will send send her the message using okay. a high level spell slot just to cast it because I have no other option. Okay. <laughs> so level you message. you cast yeah. sending with a seventh level spell slot. <laughs> yep. Good God. God. So inefficient. Anyway, and she'll just. Uh, so yeah, messaging my um, captain, she'll just say, uh, we're off we're off the island. Uh you saw you saw our boat, we still in the same it's still the same one. Okay. We should be easy enough to spot on the ocean. A few moments pass. Uh and you hear a voice in the back of your head. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for you on pickup. I look forward to hearing how we got on. Yeah, and with that, Elizabeth would just nod, be like, "Okay, she knows we're out here." Well, I guess it's time for a short rest. Um. <sighs> uh, well, <laughs> as 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 the boat is beginning to sail away, the the sea is beginning to turn orange as the sun is slowly coming down behind the horizon. I mean, Elizabeth will try to lie down in the boat, even if it means she has to put her head in someone's lap, because at this point she just doesn't care. Um, we should, I should check. Do we still have a lantern on us? Because we might want to uh, have a light source on the ship to... Uh... I just hold I just hold it, I just hold him out my dagger. Yeah, but like, how long does that is that forever? Yeah, how long does light last? Uh, an hour, an hour, but I can just cast right? it every hour. It's a cantrip. Except you yeah, can't do that if you're asleep. sleeping. Uh, well, I'm also, gonna, I don't... I'm not going to sleep. Wait, what, are we... Ex what? It's are, night time. Are, are we expecting pickup today or tomorrow? It'll be later on tomorrow. Oh, no, okay, then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it was... Like... Well, even then, like, our lanterns won't last that long. Um, Lantern lasts eight hours on one charge of fuel, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah right. quite, I do worry that it'll draw more attention to us, though, out on the water. Yeah, well, that was kind of the idea, but if they're not yeah. showing up till... I, I thought they were show, showing up soonish. But uh, no, no, we still have like a day or half a day. Um, well, let's hope we don't drift towards the island. I guess Arya can keep an eye out. Well, yeah, this, yeah, I'm assuming this ship doesn't have any way to, like, drop an anchor or something. You do not have an anchor, I believe, no. Right. Oh, well, we can fill up, well, fill, up, fill up all the sails, and with no wind, then... Yeah, we'll, we'll be we'll fine. No sails I to mean, catch the wind. We should the be... The water still... Like, the waves still cause you to drift. Like, the ocean well, pushes yes, they do, as but... the wind does. Yes, they do, but I is, you know, semi-conscious. Well, yeah, or you can keep an eye. Hell, if, hell, if you're that worried about it, I'll stay awake and 
I, I don't know what. Keep an eye on the boat. I don't know what the aftermath. Short rest. I'll be all right. I don't know what the aftermath was of lighting oil in a forest. So, perhaps we have a point of reference. I don't know how, how badly that burns. Uh, give me a perception check on that. Uh, uh, we don't see anything, probably. Okay. I was gonna say. Oh, actually, um, um, disadvantage, so it's a seven. Yeah, you, you don't see anything on the horizon that would indicate that there's anything on fire. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, if you're that concerned about drifting off, I'll stay awake. No, that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's less dumb than you guys staying awake. I'm a I'm gonna be awake anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, conscious, but yeah, conscious. semi semi conscious. Well, the problem was more like if it's like dark out, like you don't have a lot of points of reference in, you know, the ocean. Yeah. Well, if you're taking a long rest, Aya, give me a survival check. I mean, I don't imagine Elizabeth actually sleeps. <laughs> Just pretends to sleep. If you pretend to sleep, you will not get a long rest. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay. Elizabeth pretends to sleep. Okay. Secretly starts reading the, the documents. <laughs> or the, the book she grabbed. No, because then she can't pretend to be asleep. She can't do both. So... It's not like she tucks into her bedroll with the light and is like... Ooh. Oh, if, yeah. if Arya sees that, Arya's going to tell her to go to sleep. Yeah, that's, <laughs> why she doesn't, that's why she doesn't do that. I guess, actually, technically, in that case, Elizabeth, make me a constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh, what is your base constitution? Uh, my base constitution is 18. Okay. You, despite the the yawning void that uh, threatens to call upon you, uh, you manage to stay awake. Uh, Aya, being in a boat is definitely not the place you are the most comfortable. No. Um, it is very difficult for you to tell if this thing is drifting at all. Um, but with your dark vision, uh, you think you're safely far enough away from the rocks to avoid scuppering yourself on the reef. Um, but in the night, uh, Aya, make me a nature check. Okay. Make me a constitution saving throw for Lyra. Poor Lyra. Okay. Oh, Lyra's good. It's me that's uh, rolling like shit. So... Uh, somewhere on a piece of paper, keep track that Lyra has one successful constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because poor Lyra. You may have caught something. Uh, and... Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the second night after you've destroyed, after you entered the vault, correct? I uh, believe so. Oh. We... Yeah, it is, okay. I think. Yeah. We entered or left the vault? Entered. Because we went in, oh. we slept, then oh, we went yeah. out, and we slept, and then we... And now we're and we're oh, so this is, this is the third night after you entered the vault, okay. Yeah, after we entered. Uh, yeah. I need to... But only the second night after we grab the mm -hmm. yeah the okay crown. Uh, so in that case nothing happens. I know yeah because it was the smashing of the thing that started the volcano. Uh... Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, no, that's a good point. So... Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> in oh. the early hours of the morning, uh, Aya, you very quickly have to man the oars as a huge rumble causes a wave to wash oh, yeah, that fucking volcano. away from the island. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely forgot about the volcano. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, as soon as Elizabeth hears the rumble, because she was never asleep, she just bolts up right and, is yep. also, and it tries to help. Okay. Yeah, you sort of grab in, and the, between the two of you, manage to stabilize the boat. And as you stabilize the boat and turn towards the island as the early morning sun begins to rise, a single orange plume goes. Well, well, it's a good thing we got off when we did, eh? It's uh, fairly dramatic. Oh, well, let's uh. How close we want to be to the island? Cause doesn't that like looks quite violent? Yeah, I don't think we want to be that that close. But then again, our, our pickup point was pretty far from the island. A few moments later, pff, another one. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be any closer than we need to be. Yeah, let's yeah. just... Well, I suppose we want to be far away enough from the island as well that, you know, we're near the trade route. I assume we did get our long rest, right? Yes. Oh, with the oh, exception okay. of... Yeah. Those yeah. Could I get a short rest? You can have a short rest. Cool, because that way I can still recover some spell slots. Up to my level. Oh, no, it's, equal, it's equal to half my wisdom. So as you begin to row away from the island... Oh god. And then, as the... this uh, As one of the few pop, uh, pops um, fountains into the, the morning air, um, a maybe a hundred feet away, uh, something impacts as if it's the water. Oh dear. We need to get farther away. Yeah, as definitely. Soon as possible. Definitely. Yeah. We need to get close to the uh I know it's probably dangerous for us to go into the more open water in a smaller boat, but we need to be Well, like it's a decent sized ship, so Yes, it's not it's not a small yeah. boat. It, and we can it's... even and we could even turn it into the bigger one if we It's like to... it's Viking longship level yeah. sort of. Yeah. And yeah. Those ships went like across the ocean, so yeah, yeah, really let's just... yeah. yeah. I was yeah, there. Just... No, that was not. <laughs> yeah, let's just... I'd believe it. Yeah, Minnie in a past life was a Viking. You heard it here first, folks. No, not uh... even a past life. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> this uh, is yeah, just real life so, now. Uh, Minnie is a Viking. Yeah, I forgot. I like I communicate through a uh, time machine. Uh, yeah. No. Anyway, um, but yeah, we should get close to the actual trade route. We just need to get away from the island. Well, yeah, because that is oh, away yeah. from the island. Well, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you basically have six or seven hours to while away in a boat. Who wants to play I Spy? <laughs> mm. Yeah, not me. Uh, All right. Well, I'm, well, Elizabeth's going to read the book that I imagined all through the night she was uh, cuddling like a teddy bear. Okay. Because it was the one that was in her hand, rather than in her bag. So I'm going to uh, read whatever that book was. Cold, isn't that... Sorry, say again? The water is cold, isn't it? Uh, the water will be quite cold, yes. It is the middle oh, of winter. God, God Were you damn. thinking of going for a swim? <laughs> yes, I was! Uh, <laughs> what else am I going to do when we're waiting for like seven hours? I mean, you could dip your feet. You could dip your feet in the water. No, I... Also, you'd have yeah. to take your armor off to go for a swim. Yeah, I'm not well, fucking like, in my armor right now. Like, we don't really need to be in our armor. Except if we assume we're going to be betrayed, but on the other hand, we just... Yeah. I, I feel like they'll be, they'll be fine with this. Yeah, I'm going to read whatever this book I found was. Whatever this book I picked up in my hand. Uh, sure. Give me just a moment. Because unlike me in real life, Elizabeth, I imagine, is a fast reader. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, we can. We threw the whole thing in the five hours. Uh, depending on how big it is, after all. Well, also depending on the contents, because some yeah. some stuff takes more uh, more time to process than other. Okay. I imagine yeah. it's it's some heavy stuff. Uh, yeah, but she's used to heavy stuff. So the book you are holding is a series of fairly high-level notation by Latherman on the subject of divination. Ooh. I mean, which one was meant to be his area of expertise again? Uh, his, his, his area of, uh, of expertise was enchantment. Okay. But hey, divination is interesting. A wordy of notes. Yes. Do I, do I even have any divinations? Uh, but no, he he covers the art of um, uh, potentially using the flow of of Arcana to determine uh, a series of potential events in a in a foreseeable future, and um, uh, comments that many uh, celestial beings, um, uh, well, actually both both celestial and infernal beings have um, adapted this. Uh, uh, thread reading, so to speak, um, to either uh, foresee future events, um, avoid dangers, uh, and he he uh, goes on and, and theorizes to the point that um, basically a, a master of divination um, would not only have control of the flow of time on a on a larger scale, but almost on a on a minute scale, allowing him to like theoretically dodge arrows or um, uh, twist a unfortunate outcome to a positive one. Um, uh, and yeah, basically his his end note on the subject is essentially um, that um, divination is a highly unpredictable school um, because even though uh, a skilled formaturge may be able to determine uh, potential threads of, of um, divination and, and therefore find the most likely. The most likely does not always come to pass. Mm. So that uh, whilst divination can be a useful guide in determining the probable outcomes of, of an event, it does not always guarantee victory. Well, Elizabeth finds this a fascinating read because after looking through her spell list, her only divination spells are first level. Mm. So she finds it a fascinating read having not really doubled much in divination magic. Also, she probably instinctively reads out loud, like whispering to herself, mm. unless someone tells her to shut up. Depending on that, I guess it only depends on how loud you read, but like, I guess there's worse things. Oh, yeah, it's probably the kind of thing you might just sort of move it under your breath a little bit like that when you're talking. Um, uh, is there anything else we recovered? Uh, let me see. Uh, Elizabeth, can you give me an investigation check? Uh, sure. Nice. Sure. Uh, once that's one of my good plus 11s. Uh, oh, hang on. I've reset myself. Whoops. Uh, so, as you go through this book, uh, written into the uh, margin of one of the pages, um, you basically have to, much to your hatred, you have to bend the spine of the book to read this. Ugh. Uh, there is a series of arcane notations uh, containing a spell. Uh, and it is a spell that uh, 
basically through an application of divination allows you to see uh, beyond just the regular plane. Uh, and yeah, written into the margin of the page is the spell Sea Invisibility. Mm. I'll have to copy that at some point. Uh, so yeah, you potentially have the potential to copy the spell Sea Invisibility into your yeah. notes. So that means it's probably a rather extended period of time where Elizabeth tilted the book on its, it's like <laughs> opening the book. Just like, yeah, just... like really leaning into the book, trying to, because I imagine it's written quite small. So it's just like, like leaned yes. in way more just to like. <laughs> yes. It looks almost as if it was written before the book was bound. Uh, yeah, are the rest of you? What are the rest of you doing with your <laughs> several hours? <laughs> yeah. Well, recover recovering. Um, yeah. <laughs> like you know, poison. Like we've we spent like at least an hour running. Yeah. Do I know if anything's up with Lyra? Um. Given your bond, uh, she seems out of sorts. Mm. Is there anything I can do to, like, help? Uh, presumably you ask her that. Uh, give, give, give me a nature check for her. Like, as Arya? For, for her stats. As, as her stats. As Lyra. Yeah. So that will be a wisdom check. If she no, isn't trained in nature. No, nature's intelligence. Nature's intelligence? Nature is an yeah. intelligence check. Yep. That's no. why it's always okay. like garbage. Yeah, that's why I is intelligent. That's why uh, I okay, is nature cool. is bad. Uh so yeah, uh Lyra doesn't uh. really like she you, you ask her if she's feeling alright and she just sort of is non committal. Mm. See, I've just realized, what is the rules of um, not sleeping? <laughs> um, you don't recover any exhaustion if you have any, and if you go for any more than 24 hours without sleep, you gain exhaustion. Because I don't know. I, I, yeah, I have no idea if it's been more than 24 hours. Uh, it will be very shortly. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to say... Because I, I was going to, I was probably going to point out as well, Elizabeth probably yawns quite a yeah. lot while reading this book. Um, actually, I think it's like every like every page and a half. <laughs> uh, it oh it might be con saves to resist against the uh, effects. I think. Uh... Uh, we'll look that up anyway if it becomes important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, does anyone else have anything they want to do? Um, I guess a, a minor thing that I was uh, want to suggest bringing up. So, now that we've... Uh, I feel like this was one of our, another one of our big adventures. And usually we don't really have anything we can bring back to show for it. So, so I was thinking, how about we keep uh, Lady Vesuvius Amulet as a as like a trophy for the guild, you mean? Yeah, well, like we start uh, we start creating like um, like you know like a trophy cabinet, something that so we can like we can look back and see our achievements. Okay, well, just have to make sure it's protected though. Oh, the, the amulet is nothing special. It's yeah, just... I think the amulet was just jewelry. Right? Oh, okay, fair yeah, it, it's the... it's a uh, small. A uh, small minor value gemstone set into a silver locket, but the oh. um, the gemstone conceals like a key underneath it, um, which of course, if the volcano erupts, will no longer lead to anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, you say minor value. It was like it was two hundred and fifty gold. Like, still, oh like, yeah, quite, it's quite, still quite the, significant. The, the amulet itself is very expensive. The gemstone itself is not super expensive. It's more the content of silver in the necklace. 
I so, think I feel like we achieved something today. I mean, we didn't die. That's a good start. We didn't die. That is in itself an achievement. I'd say we did more than not die. We, we uh, did get the scorpion crown. We got the crown. We got. Well, we potentially stopped. Um, well, in an invasion from. From the Lady of Rot, I believe. Yeah, the Lady of Rot, which would be rather uh, unpleasant, to say the least. Mm. It would. And just think of, just think of all the history we recovered. In the distance, there is a muffled. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all of it that would have. Remained un remained completely undiscovered, or potentially eventually destroyed in the volcano if they ever, you know, made it into that fortress somehow and broke the crystal like we did. As, as you sort of gesture towards the the uh, back towards the island, uh, a large r orange red column descends and begins to sl like slowly like merge its way down the sides of the mountains. <laughs> I wonder how the fortress will hold up against this. A few seconds later, a large wave just whoosh, under the boat. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I'll hold the boat steady, like, if yeah. necessary. Oh, this will do. This is good. Also, I think we uh, learned a lot uh, in our trip about what to. Uh, well, about the cabal, especially. Although I do have to say, I am not looking forward to our next step. Hmm. Although, it might be an excuse to stop by um, like uh, some, some old friends. Yeah. It's always nice to catch up. Yeah, well, I was thinking like Illyrin and Simone. Like, I don't like. I, I, are they still in Silverbrook, or did they actually end up moving to? Uh, no, surely they're still in Silverbrook, right? Yeah, I would assume they're still uh, in Silverbrook. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, for, okay. at least that was the intention you got in from your last letter. Yeah, because we might, we're probably going to have to head up to back to the Elven capital. So wait, what's the what's the plan when we get back on that? Well, we're gonna take our time, of course. But we, as far as we learn, um, the cabal operates from um, uh, what's the name of the city again? Oh uh, yeah, the anti anti elven capital, wherever it is. Yes, Please. the city city of, city of Evernight. Yeah. Evernight. Castle. Yeah. Uh, your, I, like your previous experiences weren't great and the uh, you uh, uh, want to say Shadow Underdark Fell. Shadowfell Underdark is slightly more pleasant not too pleasant of course but yeah I mean do we really want to be running back through the Shadowfell now I don't know if it's like uh, I don't think that's enough to go on to be diving into the Shadowfell 4 I mean if it's We'll have to go there eventually. They're not really going to come to us, I'd imagine. Plus, I, I imagine they will. They'll have another child for us, probably, won't they? Yeah, but, like, I don't feel like we want to be their puppets. Well, besides, we want to beat them to those artifacts, right? And, of course, we have this crown to try and secure. We want to put it somewhere, right? Yeah, no, but, like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a way... To the future. I was gonna say, wouldn't, didn't, wouldn't, didn't we mention something about the Elven Capital having something to hold it in the in the the the, the school? I, I wouldn't leave it anywhere is the problem because if the Cabal finds out, they're going to just go for it. Yeah, and then and the problem is that most vaults have one big weakness, and that's the people who can open them. The people with access. Like, the Cabal has plenty of tricks to manipulate 
Although the elves are a tricky bunch to, uh... Yeah, like, it... come on, if someone tries to do charming magic on all of us, then the elf's the hard one to get. Why do you sound like you're drunk? At which point you'd probably just yawn. <laughs> I, um, All right, I'm just gonna roll her eyes. I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get much sleep last night. We've got time. We can might as well get it. well. Might as well get some extra sleep soon. Um, I'll, I'll probably be able to sleep on the on the bigger boat. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Crown is gonna be wait, I guess yeah, but securing the crown is gonna be the next big hurdle. I guess the the real question is who do we trust to keep it? Vondal. Yeah. On on his own? Well, I think we we're gonna we don't have secure facilities back at the keep. Not quite. No, but it's that or we carry it around at this point. That's like, even, that's even like, more know, dangerous. Because I know you weren't there for the previous our previous experience, but um, last we had another like powerful artifact that we placed in a well, it was supposed to be a secure vault. Uh, it was the it was a staff of um, well, I'd say legend. Uh, contained a small city within uh, within no, its. No, uh, no, yeah, yeah, no, I've heard this story. Yeah. And it did. It took not. It took not even a day, I believe, before it was uh, already compromised. I mean, you did put it in a city which you already knew was compromised by a demon. Yeah, but like, I, I don't think the Elven capital's got is you know full of cabal. You sure? We don't know that. You also didn't think that about Rourke's Gate, but... A two... Yeah. Touché voice from the sky. Nice job, voice from the sky. Like, I... I I honestly... um, My my first thought is to... uh, Build a well in... uh, Oh my god. And, uh, yeah. I think you know where I'm going with this. Just chuck it down a well. That seems... No, like we're gonna well it's not good just gonna be any old well it's gonna be a well in the amber eagle and we're just we're not gonna tell anyone about it oh yeah and then they'll send one of those invisible stealth demons but like we're not just gonna like chuck it down in the bottom we're gonna like it's gonna be like buried probably well we'll have to figure the details out maybe cast it in a block of lead who knows well, mate what if what if, right, we do the exact same strategy that that what's-his-face guy back from Rorksgate just handed off to a friend and told him to bury it somewhere. That way we have literally no idea where it is. Yeah, but because that guy... That puts the other person in danger. Yeah, true. We're not pawning this off to somebody else to take a hit for us. Well, what if only one of us goes and hides it? So only one of us knows. I mean, that's still... If that's our solution, we should just keep it with us, because then we can keep eyes on it. Well, we can't... Well, for practical reasons, I don't think we can carry it around forever. Maybe we need a second bag of holding just to put all the dangerous shit in. Yeah, and then they steal the bag... I, because we get like I don't know they you know a, a talented good, feet good point and then they got they got all our stuff and they've got all the most dangerous artifacts in the universe well that's, yeah, in the I universe know. that's a bold statement I think what we've, that is a bold learned, statement but if I've learned anything from this conversation we need to build a vault or something at some point <sighs> well, I'll just actually the, uh, five pieces of exodia in your wallet Ha. There is one, there is one person that 
I think might be like, be able to guide us in the right direction. Um, that trader, well, the one that gave us the boat, he clearly has connections, and we we don't have to specify what kind of magic item we're talking about. But I'm pretty sure he could help us uh, secure our new uh, staff that he uh, repaired for us, for example. So, so wait, wait, wait. What you're suggesting is, why don't we go and talk to him? That we ask him if he can point us in the direction of someone who can hide an artifact. Well, like, just, uh, like, uh, to teach us more about, art, like, securing magical artifacts, because they seem like an odd fella, but they also, you know, we, we if they he knows hold the their end of the bargain, they are, you know, it's a fanatic. I, maybe fanatic might not be the right word, but uh, definitely uh, interested in all the, on all things magic. Definitely uh, knew a thing or two about security. Yeah. Thanks for going to voice in this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just providing context. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, that's actually like, a we're meeting good him. Idea. Yeah, we're gonna meet him anyway. Worst case, we don't get anything. But I think he'll uh, he'll be able to help us. Um. Also, I it goes without saying we don't reveal to anyone. Uh, what we found. Well, uh, the the artifact. Yeah, don't don't reveal the bad one. Reveal the first aid shit, which is awesome. Like this yeah. book. Although I think I might keep this one. And well, like if we want to add cover, uh, we can always say we went there because we heard about the uh, lady Fasulia. So we brought. We we brought her uh, head, so it's yeah. Or, still or feels we a, could, um... still feels a little weird, but or we, yeah. or we could say we just heard of rumors of first age ruins because that hmm. would also be true. Yeah, I guess there's many reasons. Oops. Just I, I I like the mental image of, of just Grim just says we 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 brought back her head holds up this sackcloth bag <laughs> with this slowly pooling blackish stain that's like beginning to coagulate <laughs> on the bottom. Oh. Well, hey, look, I'm I'm just happy that I invested in proper sacks. So invest uh, in proper sacks. Kids. None of that cheap shit. Yeah, none nope. of that cheap shit. The last thing you want is when you throw the bricks in your sack that the bricks just make a hole that they can escape through. Oh. Well, I was also just thinking, because if you didn't put it in a sack or something, it would just destroy whatever else you put it in. Yeah. yeah. Like, sacks are like five copper each, so... Oh well, but regardless. If you're gonna be hiding a body... Wait, what? So, as you guys debate what it is that you want to do moving onwards, you sit and watch this slowly... Uh, the slow passage of this fireworks show that is uh, Latherman's K going off as it's one after the other again repeated small explosions and yet more orange molten rock begins to pour out of this thing slowly just turning the island into a, a series of um, glowing orange rivers that cascade across the, the island's surface. Um, the trees underneath, uh, unlike the, the oil fires you started previously, the, um, the molten rock seems enough to ignite the forests. And um, yeah, you watch as the, the, the small uh, the, sm the small number of rock remaining circling the mountain sort of disperse and, and disappear off into the horizon. Um, do you reckon we'll actually have a chance to, like, sit back and do our own thing? What? You know, a time where we're not trying to fight worldly threats. It's kind of our whole deal. We're a mercenary company. Oh, well, yeah, I know. But, you know, like a little break every now and then never killed you. Well, like, we had a break just before you arrived. 
but um, but, well, yeah, exactly. It's it's like admittedly this. Look, this is. You should also understand this is by no means an ordinary situation for any mercenary company. This is this is somewhat well, I hope unique because I would not wish this upon anyone else. Uh. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll have much rest until the the Cabal either decides that it's allowed, but then we just have to risk the fact that they would allow it, or they're, they've been dealt with. And I'm inclined to say that we're going to have to deal with them before we, yeah. at least in some way, shape, or form, before we get peace. Well, as well, on the plus side with this whole... Uh, volcano thing. At least we'll be able to come back in like a year or two and the ground will be nice and fertile. And covered in lava. No, because the that's that's the thing with volcanoes. They erupt, but then like the, the lava rock is all full of good stuff that makes the land better for farming. I don't know if you quite understand the way that that works when the lava <laughs> covers the ground. <laughs> Glad Jayla's here to tell us that <laughs> that's full of bullshit. Kevin it doesn't just soak into the ground instantly. <laughs> Look, this is not a list. This is... It's hey, rock! <laughs> yeah, no, out of character. I know full well. But Elizabeth's been studying other shit. <laughs> that's why she was, like, this powerful a wizard before she even went on any adventures. Anyway. As you guys are discussing this, watching this, uh... Beginning on the horizon and slowly coming towards you is the the outline of a ship. And as it begins to close in, uh, you do recognize it as the Phoenix. Hey! And yeah, after a small period, uh, it pulls up alongside, ropes are let down, and you guys climb, climb onto the ropes, shrink the boat, scoop it out of the water, and climb up onto the deck of the Phoenix, where Captain Tolban is waiting for you. She sort of examines all of you, smiles, and sort of says, Well, you're the first real treasure hunters I've ever seen come back from that island. Yeah, Elizabeth will also probably just look over her shoulder at the island and just go, I think we're going to be the last ones to be going there for a while as well. I did notice. I really wonder what it is that you did over there. Well, it's, it's a long story. There was there's plenty of... Uh, well, yeah. we have at least a day's travel till we arrive. Maybe you can tell me. We even brought it's props. Full of wild first age technology. Sounds like just the story I want to hear. Have you ever heard of Latherman? Latherman? Uh, yeah. Can't say that I have. Uh, uh, famous with famous wizard kind of had a big falling out with Mordekainen. Mordekainen who? You don't know the original the story of the Wizards Council. She she put her, puts her hands on her hips and says, "I sail boats yeah. for a living. I don't really know wizards." Okay, fair. Basically, eight wizards for each of the schools of magic. They're absurdly powerful. Wait, hold on. There's eight schools. Not 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 literal like. School buildings. Why am I explaining this? I'm tired. I didn't sleep last night. I was, <laughs> this I was goes on for some time. Like, yeah, and this yeah. was just like I was. I was lying awake, staring at the stars to make sure we didn't drift away. Because I was. The, uh, wait. No, I mean I was. I was. I was totally trying to. I just need. I need to go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. So. As you travel, 
Can I sleep on this boat? <laughs> you can sleep on the boat, yes. Yay. Uh, yes, the threat long departed. Uh, the ship arrives roughly a day later in, well, probably a bit more than a day later in Castport. The, uh, I suppose, yeah, actually, the evening before the boat arrives, uh, the four of you are asleep in uh, below decks. Uh, Grim, I need to borrow you for a moment. Oh. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> dun, dun. Okay. oh. Hello. So, asleep below decks. Uh, one evening, uh, you have a dream. At least, at first it begins like a a normal dream. Um, it's a bit of an unusual one. You find yourself standing on on top of a lake that stretches out in all, all directions around you. Um, and the surface is occasionally disturbed by by the odd ripple. Um, but otherwise it's fairly fairly calm and peaceful. And you sort of wander around on the surface of this this lake for a little while. Um, until it strikes you that you've been walking in, in the same direction for some time. And somebody's walking towards you. And as the, the figure closes the distance between you, um, it's a f figure that you recognize, and she sort of smiles in greeting as uh, standing in front of you is a figure that you recognize as the Supreme Witch of the Cabal. Oh. Where you meet again. We do indeed. I have I to say, that's one trick I didn't see coming. I'm not sure what trick you're talking about. <laughs> she smirks and says, There's no need to play coy. I know you have it. Uh, well, this, um, we've got plenty of stuff, but um, you might as well just tell me what you, uh, what you want. Or, well, I guess I know what you want. But what do you expect is more, uh, I guess, the more important question. Well, to be completely frank with you, this whole experiment, this contest between you and Temerity, I grow tired of it. Temerity has proven herself little more than a liability, and... Considering the actions she has made this evening, I would consider our remaining alliance tenuous at best. I will admit, I... Uh, when she first revealed herself, her exi well, when Sabero first re revealed her existence to me, I was interested in her potential, but I see now that her desire for power and revenge has come at somewhat of a detriment to her abilities. You, on the other hand, have shown no such inclination. Well. Everything you have done, you have achieved, and done so with Precision. I'd, li I'd like to think so, at least. Uh, although, I'd, I'd be lying if I say things go according to plan all the time. Plans change. It is... Oh. Adaptability is to be valued. But... That's true. <laughs> one can also argue that once one is truly adaptable, then the plan is merely a 
calculation of risks. But I don't need to tell you that. Oh, that is as as it is. Yes. Um, Let I me assume... be frank with you. Oh. I. I was surprised when you so boldly strode into an island so full of dangers, with little more than a few assets at your back, and stormed an entire fortress that not an army of my own could claim. And I am thoroughly impressed that not only did you survive it, you escaped to the crown and managed to from what I understand, destroy all evidence that the island ever existed. That crown oh. is too dangerous to be out in the world. Do you know this? Well, I would have to agree with you there. I think perhaps the part that we don't agree on that could be negotiated is who should guard it? Uh, I will admit, that is somewhat of a conundrum. Just, well, we are, we are well aware of the fact that uh, regardless of where we try to guard it, odds are you'll find a way to, uh, to get to it. I assume you're, uh, you're making a proposal? Ever the businessman. I am. The Cabal has not quite limitless, but rather vast resources. We also happen to have a stronghold where we are protected not by our own assets, but by a number of assets that would prefer to see the the Dread Legion remain dispossessed of these articles. Uh, well, that is at least good that we have that, that goal in common. However, as you may well understand, um, as far as I know, uh, well, they're, you're talking about complete strangers. Well, at least to me. To you, perhaps, yes. yes. And as you might understand, like, we are, like, even though I would, I'm willing to you know, listen and talk, and perhaps, uh, and perhaps definitely consider your proposals, there is still a um, certain sense of uh, trust or that is uh, lacking. We are, you seem. Your um, methods seem a little uh, unpredictable occasionally, or a little chaotic, which I guess we still have to, uh, still have to decide where your, uh, uh, what would I call it, a l uh, I'd say allegiances, but I feel that's too, that might be too broad. Like we're not quite sure what the what your position is on that, on everything. We understand that we you, you seem to be wanting to control the um, the world to some degree, as to keep it well from being destroyed at least by the dead dread legion. However, I I am not entirely convinced that you might not use, for example, the crown itself to achieve such means. Um, like we, like you, it's, yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to explain, but there's, um... Uh... So, if I understand correctly, you... You question my resolve to not use the tools placed before me. The crown, well, for example. 
the problem is it's not the problem is not that I just need to trust you. I need to trust your organization, and your organization is kind of shrouded in secrecy. It's kind of hard to trust what you don't know. Well, like perhaps, um, perhaps I will bring this up with the others, but. For now, we have we have some ideas as to how to keep it safe, and if we we're convinced that this will it will be good enough, we'll probably well use those. Definitely hmm. reconsider your offer. She there's a there's a brief moment where she grits her teeth in in minor irritation and then pulls back and says i think you'll find any solution that you can come up with pales in comparison to the protection i can offer but i understand your trepidation i will give you a choice The Cabal will possess this artifact eventually, whether through choice or not is another decision for another time, but I will... I am willing to compromise on the understanding. Come and see me, and I will tell you everything that it is you want to know. Um... Where, and just as importantly, how would such a meeting take place? Because I come, am... to, come to the city of Evernight. Okay. Arrange for a meeting with the Seneschal. Seneschal. He will ensure your protection. If I give my word. And hey. then perhaps there we can talk. That's... I, I, I will admit I'm uh, very, very uh, intrigued. Uh, although I will warn that... Um, well, as you might be aware, it's not the easiest um, uh, location to meet at. But I will most definitely... Uh, Give it a shot. I'm told you have your methods. Well, our time here is almost done. Uh, Don't disappoint me. Well, ditto. And with that, the surface of the lake breaks and you are submerged in the water and you wake up. Oh, ah. we're back. Ah. Hello. They return. Well, one of them returns. Um, there oh, many, there I, dra I dragged it back as well. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, mm. Cool. Hello. So, uh, as the morning dawns, uh, the ship sails into to Castport, and uh, cool. Captain Tolban meets you on the on the deck, sort of greets you all and says, "Well, this has certainly been an." Interesting adventure. You can say that uh, again. But, uh, before we continue, how many crew members are on the ship? Like roughly? Uh, I can't remember how, I to how many I told you previously. I think it was. I think like it was eight, eight or so. I, I, like eight is the number that like jumps to my mind. But yeah. yeah, I think it was eight. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay. But yeah. Um. So we're is this? Have we arrived yet, or are we still just? Uh, uh... You are in the process of pulling into dock. Well. Um. This is this may have been an unusual trip, but you certainly came through on your uh, 
your end of the the bargain. Uh, and I think the the rest rest of us agree that. Uh, also, uh, wait, because I forgot, we didn't. Did we have a deal that we would pay them extra once they picked us up? I don't believe so, right? Um. Uh, I, I think you already came to the agreement because you yeah, paid off her debt at the, uh, uh, the yeah. quartermaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we paid in advance. Water. And she said, if you survive, I'm willing to pick you up. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, like... Because it's not like it inconvenienced inconvenience that much. Like, she stopped like, for, like, what, a couple of minutes while we got on the boat? Yeah, that's true. Well, like you say, it's not inconvenienced that much. She did, like... Go yeah. near an island that of no return. Yeah. Yeah. But you also did her a significant favor paying off her tab. Yes. The... Yeah. However, I think that like as um uh, as a small gesture of uh of, as of thanks uh to you and the crew, I feel like uh we can uh, we can share a bit of our bounty. Uh and I'll I will i will pull out uh, a Platinum coin, one for like each crew member, and one for the. A the platinum guy. coin. Yeah. Well, do you know how much money that is to like a normal ass person? Yes, yes they they risk their lives for us. Yeah. We like, they, like if they like they they risk their lives. They once we got there, they're like, well, we didn't really like. They let us just take the holy water with us, which. Which is like also like twenty platinum coins worth of holy water that we got to t to bring along or so something along those lines. To be fair, we did get the holy water for them. Yeah, yeah but... we they just yeah, but... were there. Yeah, I I agree with this. Also, it's like we have yeah, so I don't mind platinum. Like, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. gonna blow their minds. But also, I think that you yeah, know, you, you you hand over like eight yeah. platinum. <laughs> Fuck Which... my life! They are gonna lose their shit. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you you watch as Captain Tolban like looks at this, and like her eyes just go huge, and she just sort of like takes the coins from you and says, "You know this is a life's fortune in cash." We just oh, that's what we I was just saying. Went to an island full of first age artifacts that was home to one of the greatest and mo most powerful and influential men of his day. I, I think it's... what our I think what our friend is trying to say is in the end you risked your and and your crew did too. So a little bit of compensation is uh, is in order. Besides you had you had you you could have just bailed out, and you didn't, and uh, that should be rewarded. Try not to spend it all at once. But it's one coin. <laughs> I don't even know a place that will change these. Let yeah, alone somewhere I could spend all of it. Well, if it really is a problem, we can arrange for... We, I guess we could arrange some change. God. But, like, <laughs> that, that she, feels... She looks at you so upset and says, No, I think... I think I can manage. Ah, good. Somebody's getting killed in their sleep tonight. <laughs> wow. No, well, you've just given these people, like... An ass ton of money. Well, look, it's I gave them like not even point one percent of what we what we found. Yeah, <laughs> we're adventurers. We handle this kind of money all the time. Yes, these people do not. You you say oh. this. You handle this kind of money all the time. This is the most money any of you have ever earned. Well, yeah, but like, yeah. Yeah. even though it's like blowing our minds or whatever, it's still like. Well, yeah. I, I, I would like, still like to point out like. The ten platinum, like or like the ten, like we've had more than ten platinum on a regular basis. Yeah, like this is the thing. Yeah, one, one platinum. It's a lot of money, but it's still not an absurd amount of money. It, she just said it was enough for a lifetime. For like a basic workers, yeah. Yeah. 
But let's not forget how much our keep cost, which was uh, 500 of those coins. Yes. Like, we, we spend, we spend like four gold, like four gold, for, we spend like sometimes two platinum per night as a group. Yeah. Just for, for sleeping. The, yeah. These guys, like, when they go home at night, they sleep in the same room as everyone else in their family. They are like regular ass dock workers. Yeah. yeah. Although, actually, these guys are a little bit more upmarket because they handle in slightly also, more like, dangerous cargo. But... All, all the more reason to do it. Like, you change their life forever, yeah. and you yeah. barely notice it. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. That's a very charitable mindset from Grimm. That is exactly <laughs> yeah. why the hey, rich should give to the poor. That, that's precisely why Grimm is lawful neutral, not neutral. What? <laughs> yeah, that's a... <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, yeah, but he's uh, yeah no not lawful neutral yeah uh, neutral, good, good. neutral, neutral good sorry neutral good yeah, yeah neutral but, good and not yeah. neutral yeah, yeah. It's, it's these moments where we are surprised by Grim and then go no okay yeah I guess that kind of tracks <laughs> yeah. yeah anyways but it just requires some work to get it out God okay yep we're back to normal Grim here we go <laughs> yeah anyway uh, anyways so you guys pull up in the dock. You yep. dismount from the Phoenix, climb down onto the, the dockside in Casper. Right. Uh, uh, where do you want to go first? Um, well, should we go talk to our um, artifact friend and return his boat? Uh, do you want to do that instantly? Or... I, I was. I don't see why not. We have several was, reasons to go see him anyway. That's true. There was only there was one thing I was wondering about. Uh, Letterman's K. Uh, like, was there any like? Does it was like whose territory was that technically, or is that was it no one's territory? Yeah, I don't think I don't know if those islands are claimed by anyone. Um. Technically, it would fall under the Northern Kingdoms, but nobody really lays claim to it. Okay. Because it's supposed to be an island, a volcanic island filled with demons, so... Yeah. Nobody really yeah. wants to claim the upkeep for it. <laughs> no, but... Yeah, if you... that actually, it turned out to be a volcanic island full of zombies. Well, they're well, not zombies. And like, robot but... armies. And demons. And, and demons. Like, there was, there was a little bit of everything. Yeah. F fungus men, fungus zombies, robots, etc. However, uh, I guess uh, I guess we need to go up north in order to find anyone that would be interested in uh, the island being cleared. Yeah, to some you, degree. You, you'd need to go to like the the northern territories to my kingdom. Yes. Well, maybe we're gonna throw away that Medusa head after all, because otherwise it's just gonna be a uh, yeah in the bag forever. Uh, I maybe. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, we might end up up there. Eh, I don't want to keep it around for more than a, than a few weeks, because, yeah. Yeah, it's going to start to stink. <laughs> yeah, true. But I guess in that case, we can just, uh, we can head to the artifact dealer. Yeah. Or... Okay. Uh, so... Backtracking through the, the streets, um, it is bitterly cold as the the wind is blowing uh, in the port town here. Um, it is very clear that uh, winter is setting in. Yeah, I've still got my traveler's cloak. We're all good. Uh, yeah, winter is is definitely in full flow, and it does not look like it's yeah. leaving anytime soon. Does that mean it's snowing? Uh, not this close to the coast, unfortunately. Damn it. Uh, so, you head towards uh, the back alley store owned by Odebin Tarland. Um, and as you enter the alleyway, uh, up ahead of you, you see the door with the familiar sigil. Um, except... In a somewhat surprising display, 
uh, the door to Odeman Tarlin's uh, little establishment uh, is hanging wide open. Oh. Uh, look to everyone else and like, I guess, can I peek my head through the doorway and go, um, hello? So you, as you peer around the doorway, um, the, as the door, the door is hanging open and there looks like there's been a number of things knocked, uh, like the, the piles of storage crates and, and things that were in the hallway, uh, look to have been knocked over by possibly the force of something being kicked open. <laughs> okay, I'm heading in a bit, okay, I'm, I'm heading in because this is worrying. Okay. Yeah. I presume the rest of you are following. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was what was his name again? Did he give us his name? Uh, Odebin Tarlin. You know his name. You know his name. Yeah. So oh, I guess then uh, Elizabeth's walking and going, Odebin. Uh, actually, we Mr. should. Tarlin. As we as we're going in, I would like to say uh, maybe we should send someone around back. Uh, maybe uh, you and Lyra. And uh, like looking at. Uh, uh, wow. Well, for some reason. Oh, yeah. Like, Aria, why not? Yeah, Aria. I was just, I kept on getting Luca in my head. I'm like, no. <laughs> Who is no. this? Who is Luca? <laughs> Correct, oh. but no. Oh, this is fine. Will you two be alright on your um, own? I'm sorry? To go around back, like Grimace is suggesting. Yeah, I can well, do that. Of course, to go with if you want, but she's also like, you guys are fucking fine, but also. Uh... This is I mean, I'm. I think I'll be fine. All right. Well, yeah. You you don't know how to get to the back, so the person who is good at navigating is probably the best person to send. Yeah. Uh, I was more Hi, thinking Aria. like Lyra. Lyra Le- 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 will chase anything down, and yes. if also otherwise Arya will also sneaky. So Arya and Lyra sprint around to try and find a back entrance, and the three of you sneak inside. Uh, I mean, Elizabeth's not sneaky. She's literally calling out. Like, oh, okay. Thailand. So you're going in and calling out. Um, so as you're calling out, you hear the signs of raised conversation, but as you call out, cease. And that is what we'll pick up next week. Fuck. <gasps> dun dun dun! So much for a magical security guy. <laughs> mm. Wow. You'll have to find out what Edmund Tarland is up to next time. Yeah. Wow. Oh. oh dear. Uh, and uh, seeing as you guys will have had a rest on the ship, uh, we should probably do some experience. Uh, We're gonna level up! I would be most surprised if we did. Well, yeah, we need 1,900 to level up, so. We're gonna level up, and I'm gonna get my motherfucking dire wolf, bitch! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's uh, been like three fucking years in the making. <laughs> I'm gonna have resistance to magic. Ooh. So, <sighs> per player, 4,175. Oh, Ooh. shit! Oh. Four thousand four thousand one hundred and seventy-five. Yes. Wow. Cool. Oh, we did kill a lot of stuff. Yeah, I guess. Whoops. Fuck. So that cuts puts us one hundred and forty-two thousand two hundred and seventy-five. And more importantly, it puts you at level fourteen. Woohoo! Woo-hoo. Yeah. yeah, boy. Right, let's let's fuck some shit up. And so, player's handbook. Come on out. I guess. Does anyone have any comments before we uh, sign off? Uh, hmm. next time Lyra will be a direwolf. Yes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! I don't know what the reason for this is. But it's she's just wake up and happen. she's gotten bigger. Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> well, just big enough now. As I have said, ev- every morning when you wake up, you notice she does get bigger and bigger and bigger. 
She is a big boy. This this has been happening for like literally the last like six months that you've known her. She's just progressively getting bigger. Oh, she's gonna have so much fur too. So much fur. <laughs> oh, she's fluffy. She's fluffy. Oh, yeah, so fluffy, I'm gonna die. No, guys, you know what? I've just had the mental image of now. So what? So, so there is there is asleep, and everyone's lying down, resting their head on her. Oh. Except that would never happen. <laughs> I was like, Lyra would hate that. <laughs> yeah, Lyra um, would not be a fan of that situation. Oh, does Lyra not like cuddles? I mean, Lyra likes cuddles, but I don't know if she knows all of you that well yet. Yeah. Mostly Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. No. Fair. Also, I feel like Grim is like not a person that she would cuddle with. No offense, Grim. <laughs> wow. I'm going to be her best friend ever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah. My comment is, holy shit, that was a fun session. It what? was fun. Good. Very, very intense. I enjoyed every moment. Yes. <laughs> I I was I was so happy when you guys decided to just we're gonna run to the front door and open it and then I was just like, ah yes. <laughs> the thing that I preferred that I was worried was not going to happen. Yeah. Well, like I I re was by now. <laughs> completely forgot to mention that we should probably regroup before we opened it. Mm. <laughs> this is yeah. fine. Although I am, but, uh, I am a tiny bit disappointed that you didn't go with Cav's initial plan, which was sum summoning the elemental Myrmidon and basically like wading through the halls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. That would have been. I so also fun. forgot about that. But that's very. That, that would have so been fun. amazing. Because the Myrmidons get three attacks. Yeah. Well, not just the fact that they get free attacks, just the image of just this giant armored yeah. elemental wading they're actually, through. They're not actually giant, I don't think, Myrmidians. Well, like, no, well, I meant more giant as in big, as in well, it's, yeah. a, it's it's still a big ass elemental. Yeah, yeah. like Clara sized, if not slightly yeah. bigger. Yeah. Well, they're still large, so they're like eight feet, like or so. That's pretty big. But yeah, like. For, like, a living ball of fire? Yeah. 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 Uh, no, Myrmidons are still medium. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. They're just plate armor. Yeah, they're just absolute beasts. Yeah. And the fire one sheds bright li sheds shares light. <laughs> and you know, five could... feet it moves in water, it takes 1d4 cold damage. <laughs> Also, actually, thinking about it, we could just have sent that like in one direction, and then we could just have walked the other way. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but Elizabeth didn't have spell slots at that point. I, she had one. Actually, had... yeah, I had my seventh level spell slot, which is what I would have needed to summon oh. the Myrmidon. Well, yeah, the okay. Myrmidon. Yes. Because that's because that was the whole thing last session. Last session, I realized that I could upcast <laughs> summon elemental to seventh level to summon yep. bigger elementals. And it said you spent that spell slot on sending. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, probably very good that we saved that spell slot. Yeah. But yeah, the real question is just what would you guys want? Would you like a big suit of armor that does lightning and has a flail? Do you want one that does fire and has a scimitar? Do you want one that has a maul? Or do you want one that's got a fucking trident? Like, to be honest, I feel like any... Mirrodon is fine. Yeah, they have a lot of resistances and immunities. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're fucking beefy as hell. They're pretty great. But yes. Well, I'm glad you all enjoyed it. I'm glad you all are excited to be level 14, and I'm hoping that you're excited to find out what happens next. I yes. am. Of course. So excited. Yeah. Oh yeah, I haven't even shared what happened earlier yet. No. Nope. Well, you have to save that till afterwards. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? So, um... Nothing. I guess <laughs> all, all that's left to say is uh, thank you all for playing, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.